Welcome to Bitcoin News Today and today I'll be asking are Bitcoins a good investment? So if that's interesting to you definitely stay tuned. It is the 25th of July 2018 and recently we have seen a increase in the Bitcoin price from the bottom here uh, up over 40% even a 50% gain in price. Currently we're at $8,201. Now interestingly the price seems to correlate with the exchange rate of the Chinese currency compared to other currencies in the world. It's lost a lot of value recently so let's just overlay that uh, and I'll show you what I mean. Chinese to the US dollar. Here we go. And as you can see, it started losing value on the 18th of April, but more, more dramatically on the 14th of June. The price, uh, well, it's lost value really rapidly. So when it got down to um, these levels here, uh, we did start to then see a lot of Chinese money going into Bitcoin and maybe that is one of the reasons behind the recent pump. So if that is true, maybe that could carry on. But let's take that off the chart for now and look at the technicals. Um, we are seeing that the RSI was at lows uh, recently on the 13th of June and then it went down again on the 22nd of June and the 28th of June. So in my previous videos I did recommend that these could be good opportunities to buy in my opinion and uh, indeed it was a, uh, a level here that we reached that was a support level and pretty much the bottom price of Bitcoin in recent times. If we zoom back then this level here did align with the bottoms that we did reach all the way back on the 12th of November 2017. So reasons why I think Bitcoin is a good investment is that it is limited to 21 million Bitcoin in all time and unlike other currencies such as the Chinese currency or all other world currencies uh, that are fiat currencies they're not based on anything other than the value that governments place on them through the, um, the often manipulated foreign exchange rates. Bitcoin cannot be debased so in that way it's uh, it has some advantages over fiat currency and it can be used as a medium of exchange. Demand for Bitcoin is growing. We have seen a bit of a spike in volume recently um, and that has also correlated with this increase in price. Now if you're looking to invest at the moment it might not be such a good time just right now because the relative strength is very high indicating uh, over um, oversold conditions which means that we probably will see some correction in price. Now I've drawn some um, trend lines, uh, recent trend lines and you can see that we are probably following this trend line here. Um, now we need to put another one on here which is the moving average so let's add that on the moving average and let's set that at the 200 day moving average because this has been quite a pivotal point for us recently because you can see that whenever we've reached the 200 day moving average we have bounced down and nearly we touched it here and we are seeing a little bit of a correction so what do you think the price will do next let me know in the comments uh, how low do you think it will go next um, and also another key indicator that I like to show is the all time um, trend so if we use the drawing tool, start at the bottom of that trend line there and if we go like 
that, we can see it touches this trend line a few times, but never goes below it. So as we approach that trend line, I'm on the monthly view now, but let's go back to the one day view and see if we can see that trend line. There is the trend line. So it's quite a bit further down on the chart. So we've not gone anywhere near that bottom trend line just yet. So potentially there is the, uh, there is the chance that we could go down as low as say $4,300 before bouncing back up. I don't think we will ever go below that trend line because there's, there's fixed costs involved in Bitcoin, such as the cost of, of mining, which is related to the cost of electricity, etc. And the difficulty of mining is increasing with time. The amount of Bitcoin is uh, decreasing, the amount of available Bitcoin. If every millionaire in the world today wanted to buy one Bitcoin, there wouldn't be enough Bitcoin to go around. Um, the other advantages of Bitcoin that make it potentially a good investment are there are no storage fees unlike gold and silver. Uh, you have to pay to store those somewhere. With Bitcoin, there's no storage fees. It is easy to hide. Um, I know that people are watching this video from all over the world. Um, so anonymity can be an advantage depending on which regime you are living under. Um, and it's easy to protect your Bitcoin as well, to prevent theft or potentially to prevent seizure of your assets by a, um, an unfriendly government or regime. Um, but the disadvantage, which some people would say is an advantage as well, is the extreme volatility of it. And that is what's put a lot of people off investing because we can see there's some really big swings upwards and swings downwards. Um, even on the short term view, if you look recently, then if we get the measurement tool out uh, between this low here and the high there, in about a month, the price has increased 45%. So highly volatile, much more volatile than other markets. But if you get to know the fundamentals, for example, the relative strength indicator can give you a pretty reliable time, uh, idea rather of the best time to buy when that is really low and the best time to sell when it's really high, then you can make a profit through swing trading. And also remember dollar cost averaging as well. Definitely, if you're new to Bitcoin, look into dollar cost averaging because basically this would be, whenever the RSI is low, it would be a good opportunity to buy potentially, but we never know how low it's going to go really. Um, we never, we didn't know, for example, when the price started to drop here, then I thought maybe it's a good opportunity to buy because we, we was going up previously, then it looked like just a correction, but then the price went down really low. So what you need to look at is the RSI, when it drops below say 30, that indicates it's a good opportunity to buy. So here looks like a good opportunity when we couldn't see any further uh, ahead. So it looks like a good opportunity there, but of course the price did drop further. So the best strategy would be to invest a little at a time. So don't put all, all of your money into one trade, invest a percentage here, for example, when the RSI was low, then it dropped again here. So you could have invested a little more and then it dropped down again twice here. So uh, you could have invested a little more then. And then the, the average cost that you've invested at averages out so that then when it starts to increase, you could sell here, maybe not sell all of it. I decided to sell half of my Bitcoin uh, yesterday when the price was uh, high and who knows, once the RSI has cooled off a little bit, maybe it's going to go up again and maybe we'll see an increase up to the next, uh, the next um, resistance line is at nearly $10,000. So I think we will hit $10,000 soon in the next month or so. Uh, and then that will be a nice increase again from, from now to 
10,000. That is another 20%. But of course, we will see a little bit of a drop, first of all. Um, until we can break through this resistance level, we will need to see the RSI cool down. The, the strength will cool down a little bit, uh, maybe all the way down to below 30 and then we will see enough strength to pump back up and break through this 200 day moving average. Um, another reason that Bitcoins make a good investment in my opinion is it is uncorrelated. So that means that it does not follow the pattern of any other uh, asset, um, it doesn't follow the stock exchange, it doesn't follow currencies, it's not correlated with any other asset or anything that we are aware of. So in that way, it's a good thing to own because it helps to diversify your portfolio. For example, if you own some silver and gold, they're slightly correlated. The stock exchange is correlated. The currency markets are all correlated pretty much. But with Bitcoin, it's totally unique. Uh, the pattern that it follows is not correlated to any other market specifically. So by owning some Bitcoin, potentially if gold and silver crash, if fiat currencies crash, then you're still going to have an asset that is uncorrelated with those. And potentially if fiat currencies do collapse, um, then the price of Bitcoin will increase. So I would definitely recommend if you've got the spare money, then try to own one Bitcoin. Uh, not all at once, but over time, if you can build up to that, I think it will be a very good investment going forward. And of course, there will be ups and downs, so always uh, follow, follow my advice, um, my opinions. It's not financial advice, but definitely my opinion on when, when is the best time to buy and when is the best time to sell. So do subscribe to my channel and I'll be able to alert you of those best times. And if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up, tap that like button below and let me know in the comments what your experience with Bitcoin is so far. Uh, what Are you looking at other coins or is it mainly Bitcoin for you? Uh, let me know if you've got any questions or any ideas for future videos as well and I look forward to seeing your comments. So thanks for watching, see you again soon and bye for now.